Yeah, my girlfriend's 42, and uh, it's it's really no different because after a couple of years, it, it just totally goes away. But I actually met her. She I worked at a chemotherapy uh, facility, and she was she had a she had breast cancer, and she was like really really bad. And she started getting a little better. We started dating, whatever. It's been four years, and she's still around. But she pays. She she gives me money. So you kind of hate it. I say, oh, it's horrible. I mean, she had. Um, I hope she's not listening. Cause she had like a C-section back when C-sections weren't that easy to do. Oh, no, <laughs> did it with a hatchet. <laughs> Wait, I gotta start. Hold on, I gotta start taking notes, man. What the mushy factor we learned about? Yeah, the mushy factor. Uh, I gotta write down mushy factor, and I gotta write down C sections when they really didn't know what they were doing yet. <laughs> didn't know what they were doing yet. <laughs> he makes a great point because now the C sections are like itty bitty scars. Yeah, they figured the, it out. Back in the day, it was like <laughs> just sawing away. There is nothing itty bitty about that scar. Oh, really? Okay, continue. Um, and, but the problem was that when I met her, she had, she had just gone through breast cancer and to do it with, with that, with someone who has two mastectomy scars with the down there, but the money is pretty good. How poor are you? Um, I don't have to pay for anything. I mean, I get, you know, I get like, you know, an allowance quote unquote, but I do have access to, to, to the ATM, which is good, but, uh, I live, I don't have to do anything at all. Except for that, which is a lot. Wow. All right. There you go. It's going through a lot to get wow. Get his bills paid. Yeah. It's better than a job. What, I was just going to say, why don't you just get a job? That is a job. <laughs> Horrible job. <laughs> it's, it's the worst job in the yeah, world. Yeah. You've got to deal with the mushy factor and, and uh, bad C-section scars. Let's go to Mark in Carolina. I don't know which one. North, south, where are you, Mark? South Carolina. South Carolina. What do you got? Hey, I was letting you guys know my cougar story. I lost my virginity to a cougar. I went to uh, stay with my father when I was about 17. He owned a boarding house. There was a woman in her 50s that kept flirting and flirting, and no big deal. Well, she got me drunk one night, took me back to her room, and... Uh, we're laying in bed, and she told me, I'm going to give you a special blowjob. Well, I'm thinking, hell, when you uh, see any blowjob, a special blowjob. Oh, God, how many more times can he say it, though? Jesus. Yeah. Well, well, well I'll, I'll, Mark, Mark, slow that down, will you? Yeah. Let's calm yeah. down a little bit. Dump, dump, dump. You do understand you're on regular radio as well, oh, right? I do apologize. Yeah. I, I'm an XM guy. Sorry. All right. Uh, yeah. She was going to give me oral treats. And <laughs> how many months and we got left? Four, I think. Just yeah, give, four to go. Give up. Four lousy months to go. Uh, yeah. Mark. Well, yes. Anyway, I was down. She has her teeth out in a cup. Yeah. And it's like, oh my god! And it was the most Mark. incredible feeling. Yes. All right, Mark. He's just not. Uh, very skilled in this. You're not radio friendly, sir. Yeah. Basically, yeah. you were 17, she was 50, she had no teeth. End of yeah. story. All right? 